This material is to make multiple solar energy project. We have this big base with this marking. You can see this red marking. Then two wooden batten, bulb, sunboard, two bushes, wire, holder, then multiple so solar energy kit. Again, this wooden batten for base, solar panel, switch. This blue uh, plastic pieces, we'll call them as a spacer. This two pin, a wire. And finally, we have this a set of various nut bolt and screws. If you see this carefully, these two are big nut bolt. These two big nut, nut bolt are for uh, these two bushes. Uh, specifically, they are 5 by 60 nut bolt. Then you see these five nut bolts similar, but only one is different. They are 4 by 45 nut bolt, but only one is with two washer and two nuts. Rest four you can see with one, sing, only single nut. Then we have these four again, by, they are 3 by 45 nut bolt with two uh, nut and two washers and finally these are 6 by 25 screws. Now first step, we have to make hole on the board. This is the rough board given in the toolkit and if you see this marking carefully where red mark is written there, you have to make a drill there. But on board we have given this big hole for switch and there are three already drilled are there. You don't have to do drill in these three because already they are for uh, fixing the screw. Now to make a drill what you have to do is put it here and put the drill machine here and start making drill like this. Now, once you feel that this has gone through it, you have to take it in reverse direction so it will come out like this. Similarly, now you have to take this out and we have to make hole to all these red markings. Now, you are ready with this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 holes you made with drill machine and these 3 holes are already there. Now we have to fix this smaller button with this wooden board. Now if you see carefully this wooden button, you will find these three holes here. One, two, three, which are matching with these one, two, three holes. But the only thing is how to fix this. For that you have to make sure that this hole should match with these two holes on the board. Otherwise it may happen that your these three holes are matching, one, two, three, but this one hole and these two holes are from uh, each uh, away from each other so make sure that when you are fixing this thing these two holes are in line with this hole on the board and then we will insert this screw in these three uh, holes and we'll fix it from the bottom side like here now insert screw from this side and make sure that this screw will go into this hole here so fix it here and just a bit tight with the finger and then use a screwdriver. Now tight it with screwdriver like this. Now fix all these three screws from the side and this will be. Now here you can see these two holes are in line with this hole. So this is the base. Now we have to fix bush to front side. Now we have to fix these two plastic bushes with the 5 by 60, the biggest bolt in the kit and tools you need is a screwdriver and this we call as a nut holder, this is not a part of kit, you will find this nut holder in the uh, tool kit. If you see this nut is getting uh, holding here, so we use this as a nut holder. For that what you have to need is first insert this big bolt here and from the bottom side if you have to this is a hollow side of the uh, bush and this is a flat side flat side will go towards the base and from the with the help of finger you have to tie this nut will go inside now put this nut holder into the nut press it here it will come from this side so first of all with hand only you have to tie this bolt till the bottom and finally at the last stage you can use screwdriver to tight it and finally tight this your, your grip will be you're pushing this nut holder inside and tightening 
tightening the screw or bolt with the screwdriver from another side. So finally this your base is ready with two bush from the front side and from the back side this batten. So this is your base ready. Now we will see how to connect wire with holder and a two pin. If you see this wire carefully this wire has a cut here already given at a shorter distance. And on a longer side we have to fix the two pin and to the shorter side where cut is there you will fix this holder here that is a domestic uh, wiring we do normally with the screwdriver. Now remove the insulation from the wire, twist this wire properly and you have to bend it once so that it will be a big thing and unscrew this a little bit so that this wire will go inside easily put the wire inside and tight it with a screwdriver similarly you have to do it with the second wire also but make sure that this holder side has this cut uh, nearer similarly fix this uh, two wires with the two pin and then close it so this is final assembly of the holder and now we have to fix these two wooden button with the screws you will find first insert these two screws through this hole and now you have to find a matching hole on this button you will side on the front side or top side you will find these two holes place it here and tighten the screw you have to make a L angle shape so make this as a L with these two screws on the top now we have to fix this holder with this L bracket or L angle and using sun board and these two nut and bolts. First of all insert these two bolts from the top so it will go easily like this. Then these two holes we have to pass through the holes like this. Then this notch wire will come out from this notch and holder will go inside inside the bolt like this so finally it will look like this from the top and from this side it will be and then you have to put this nut and tight it with the screwdriver so finally it will look like this from the top and this side Now we have to fix the switch in this hole for that you have to remove this ring make this ring a tilt a bit so that it will come out from the wire like this take this ring out take this another ring out and then we have to insert this hole or wire from the top like this you have to press it a bit. Or, or move it like this it will go down and from the bottom then again the similar process you have to insert this ring like this and make it on the thing and tight it so this fix uh, switch will be fixed with the board it's a push to on switch now we have to fix this panel on these four holes using these spacers and nut bolt washer set. Take one small bolt, put the washer in it and you have to insert this bolt from the bottom. It will come like this. Again hold it and put one more washer and you have to fix it with a nut like this. Tight it with the screwdriver from the bottom by holding with your finger from the upside. So you are tightening it from the bottom side and holding it from the upside. And finally it will be like a peeler on this side. So similarly you have to make four peelers like this. Now once these peelers are ready you have to insert this plate having four holes here. Now insert these hole into the bolt if you find that difficulty in getting inside 
then take it take this out again and you have to loose these nuts here so that this peeler will have some play for adjustment so that panel will go easily inside if these peelers are uh, not moving it will be difficult to insert this panel so make sure that it is moving a little bit and uh, this panel is going inside then you have to put these spacer into this and finally you will place this plate here onto this and it will go easily inside adjust it like this and finally you will put this nut from the top like this and tight it with your finger so this is a make sure that orientation of this plate towards which sail holder will come towards which and orientation will be towards your side solar energy kit you can read from the button side now we have to fix this big 4 by 45 bolt with two nuts and two washer and it will fix with the solar panel first of all what you need to do is insert one washer inside the bolt and we will then we will put one nut on it it will have some gap here and then we will insert this assembly from the bottom here it will come through this and again put a washer and nut now these two nut will be for increasing or decreasing the height of the bolt so whatever height we require we can increase or decrease with the adjusting these two nuts and bolts like this so if i'm uh, loosening the bottom bolt I am getting more height and by pressing it down and holding uh, from the bottom I am adjusting it uh, a lower height of this particular bolt and this we have to fix it here on the bolt by moving it round and round this panel So finally this will go inside so you have to move it clockwise so finally this panel will be fixed on the board like this you can see it has reached uh, this blue part till the base now we have to fix this L bracket with holder with the base using two nut bolts we have two holes here on the batten first insert both the bolts from it to insert these two bolts into these two holes here and fix it with the nut from inside like this hold the nut from inside with your left hand and from the right hand tight it using screwdriver so this will be a final assembly look like this now actually we have to insert this these two wires through this hole but unfortunately in the first step we did this uh, mistake we have connected this two way pin so again we have to remove this two way pin uh, two pin and insert these wire through this and then we will sorry guys uh, here is a small correction you don't have to open this pin rather we have this wire here coming from the switch insert this wire through this hole and this wire will come out from here like this and then we, will, we have to make a connection here now you see these two wires coming from the switch black and red and there is a cut on the previous wire what we have we will connect these two wires coming from the switch on these two wires there is a single wire black running through and we will cover this with a electrician tape and cover these two joints with the electrician tape so that there will be no current now put the bulb here and you can see when you switch on the bulb bulb will be switched on now wire coming from the panel is not connected to the uh, our unit only electricity generation is happening so this there are uh, we can store energy here we can convert solar energy into light energy we can convert solar energy into sound energy we can convert solar energy into electromechanical energy and you can see electrical energies also uh, we can get from the solar energy so first of all we will put it in the light energy and when we press the bulb you can see this led is glowing 
when i put it in sound energy this sound started then when i put it on the fan type you will see this fan is moving you can see this fan now you can see light energy is generating now we will change the pin and move to sound energy we will hear some sound then we will move to fan fan will start moving uh, you can if fan is not moving you can just uh, with a finger you can uh, give a push to fan it will start moving then you can put it on the uh, next panel where you can see the current or voltage what is it is generating so finally this is the model for multiple solar energy conversion if you find electricity is not getting generated so you can adjust this height or angle of the panel so that this will go close to the bulb and will generate electricity so make sure that it is as close as the bulb to the bulb